friends, it's Miss Velasquez. Do you remember the last time that we did an experiment together? That's right. That was when we talked about absorb and repel. Today, we're going to do another experiment, but we're going to talk about wind. Behind me is a chart that I created for this activity. There is one question that we always have to answer whenever we try out a material. That question is, can wind move it? And do you see that there's a question mark right here at the end of that sentence? When you see that question mark, that means there's a question that is being asked. The materials that we need for this activity are paper, feather, sunglasses, and remote. Are you excited to find out which ones the windows is going to move? Let's find out. These are the materials that we need for the experiment. We have a paper, feathers, sunglasses, and a remote. Also, Ms. Velasquez is going to use a hair dryer to blow wind. Now remember, my friends, you cannot use the hair dryer by yourself. You need help from mommy or daddy. We have to be careful. The first thing we're going to try out is the paper. Now when Ms. Velasquez turns the hair dryer on, it's going to be loud, so you might want to turn the volume down. What do you think is going to happen to the paper after the wind is blown on it? Let's find out. Did the wind blow it? Yes or no? Now let's try out the feathers. Can wind move them? Yes or no? What about the sunglasses? What do you think is going to happen when I turn the hair dryer on? Let's find out. Can wind move it? Yes or no? The last item we're going to test is the remote. What do you think is going to happen when I turn the hair dryer on? Can wind move it? Yes or no? Now let's go back to our chart. Let's answer the question with a yes or a no. Did the wind move the paper? You're right, that's a yes. Did the wind move the feather? That's right, that's a yes. Did the wind move the sunglasses? That's right, the wind did not move the sunglasses. Did the wind move the remote? You're right. The wind did not move the remote. Now that the activity is over, can you help me answer one question? Why do you think the wind blew the paper and the feathers, but not the remote and the sunglasses? Also, you can try this activity at home. You don't even have to use a hair dryer. You can blow on the materials or you can use a fan that looks like this. I hope you had a great time. Bye.